Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another episode of Brew and Build. Today, I first have to apologize. Uh, I'm sorry that uh, this past week, past two weeks honestly, the videos have been a little bit sporadic. Uh, and that is just kind of the nature of the beast of the la having like the last few weeks of college left. Um, lots of stuff come and do, lots of stuff I have to work on, and sorry I'm rolling my sleeve up and so I was walking all weird because I didn't have my mouse. I wasn't using the mouse. <laughs> um, and so that's why we are kind of at a weird stage of not being able to put a ton of videos out, but I definitely want to put more than just one out a week. Um, and so this video, I'm hoping I can get another one out as well. Uh, but I'm not sure. I just don't have time currently in real life to be able to tackle large projects. Um, because just, yeah, we just don't have time to tackle large projects because I just don't have time to record and put time in off camera as well building. Um, where's the zombie? Oh, I bet I know. I bet I know. Because this is a here. No. Over here. You're right. Nope. Yes. No? No, I lit this up. Okay. I just crazy. Um so yeah, that's why um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. good. That's why the videos are a little bit uh, weird and sporadic and not um, to the consistency that I would like them to be, but it's just bear with me and hopefully we'll make it through this end of the year stuff. Uh, last episode we finished up the market and overall I think everybody likes it and I think it's really cool. I love it personally. I really love it. Uh, like I said last time, fish market, we'll finish that at a later date just because we don't have the extra fish and it kind of seems like a little pointless to try and finish something that you're going to come back and just change up anyways. Uh, but this area is all nice and done. I think it looks great uh, and I, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, for this episode, what I thought would be a nice, easy... The zombie's going to drive me crazy. Oh, I bet he's... Somewhere. Are you over here, buddy? Are you over here? Where are you? Show me. Ah. Hey, dingus. Making all sorts of noises. Jiminy Christmas. Acting like he owns the place. Um, but today I thought we'd tackle this and jump into a creative world and try and come up with a design for this. It'll be faster in a creative world and then I can just emulate it on here. Um, but then I can also get your guys' feedback on it uh, so I don't just like build something that we all decide it doesn't fit the area. Um, because I, I did, one of you suggested um, a mural of some sort. Uh, so, and it may not necessarily be in this location, but I really like the idea of a mural. Can I get, can I, can I get up, uh, can I get up here, please? Thank you. I really like the idea of like a, a town square with a mural on the floor, and I tried to make one. I'll show you in the creative world. <sighs> Issue is though, the, just this area is difficult to work with um, because it's not terribly big and the mural idea I had just don't have the colors to really work with uh, so yeah I'll we'll jump over there now and I'll show you that idea and then we'll jump in on this let me take a let me see it's one two three four five okay five by five cool um, so let's jump on over there and start tackling this and also take a look-see at that mural design. Alright guys, so we're here in the nice little creative world we got going. And this is the mural design I had going. It's like a tree. Um, similar to the trees we have. Now this dirt, since it's going to be a floor design, uh, we can use grass and it won't die like it is now. So it's been a bit of a hassle <laughs> working with. But So that's what it would end up being like is like that 
Um, I like it. Like, if you if you step far enough back, like, you can tell. Like, it, it looks like a tree. The only issue is they just don't have a yellow green that's very good. Um, they just have lime green. And that's not exactly the type of highlight that it would be on this tree. And they also don't have the really dark. They don't have much darks. Like, I would want a bluer green, um, and they just don't have that. But I don't think it's bad. Uh, issue is, though, I did mess up somewhere on this. It's supposed to be a 16 by 16, and somehow I made it a 17 by 16 or something like that. Maybe it's an 18 by 17. I don't know. I whopper jawed it a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it's that's fixable. Um, so I don't really know what your thoughts are on this. Like, we could do this, but I'm not sure exactly. Um, but let's not, we'll, we'll work with that later. Um, we'll just build right next to it. We can, uh, kind of get this here thingy going. I think what we're gonna, what would be good would be oak, acacia, maybe some brick, and, hmm. Maybe we'll try some co cobblestone and that as well. And we're going to need stairs and slabs of both of those as well, I think. So we'll, yeah, we'll go with that, sure. So we got one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. And I don't remember how tall we made this, so I'm just going to go up to what feels like a good, good height. <laughs> Um, and I have no planning of this. I've kind of, I have one that I'm basing it off of and an idea of one. Um, if you remember, I mean, some of you play, said you played Fable. So if you remember the Fable Tower, it was mainly brick. We're not going to go with mainly brick, but I wanted to potentially match the area. Um, and let's see, let's see, one, two, three, we'll go stairs on there so we're gonna build it with uh brick and then we're gonna kind of interweave this stuff in like we do in the walls yeah this is good one good thing about uh okay no not you one nice thing though about creative mode is you can really just go to town and not have to really worry and then probably would have actually is like that I think that was how it was well, how's that look then what if we had uh, nope you're not the block I wanted I wanted you yes just like so yeah so like that, and then I don't really know how tall we want this. Like I said, this is going to be kind of uh, just a sporadic placement of blocks. <laughs> um, let's see, I don't know how tall that is. How tall do we want that? Is that tall enough? Hmm. Uh, don't know. Don't really know. Let me take a moment and think through this a little bit, and I'll come back with a little bit more of a result here. All right, so I got a little bit done. Actually, got so I did one side, um, and that's the other side. That's probably the idea I'm leaning towards, but I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on it. Um, so I was originally having a bit of a struggle and came up with, Kind of this was gonna go with something like this to where it's thicker and it gets thinner and gets thinner and I mean that's how most towers work uh, it just makes sense um, but I wasn't liking that because I didn't think it fit very well uh, and so I was trying to think of how we could emulate that but make it more natural since we are in a hobbit place and they're very natural and with nature and stuff and so the uh <clears throat> this other side is very different and this uh may let's first get rid of this stupid green 
get out of here. Mamma mia. So. Yeah. It's. It's, uh, I might have gone a little overboard. <laughs> but. I made it more like. Almost like it's built into a tree. If, if that is kind of making sense. So almost like it's built into a tree. I don't know. I think it's cool and I think it would look cool. But I don't know what y'all think. Put something there. Yeah. So I don't know what y'all think. Um, really the only purpose of this build is to be kind of like a bell tower. So like you got up here this little bell old block that's as close to a bell in this size that I can get or well I could probably go a little bigger go a little better but yeah um and yeah the also the kind of like the well you know how the well I said was maybe from a more ancient sort of place maybe that's kind of what I was gearing this towards a little bit with the architectural style of it it's a little different it variates a little bit from the uh hobbit style i mean it's got the hobbit materials that maybe they came across this dilapidated old um kind of bell towery tower thingamajiggy and it needed repairs and so they repaired it with the materials they had and they were using which is the this brick and acacia wood stuff and fixed it up and stuff uh, but maybe this it was originally built kind of as one with this tree that's kind of fallen on the wayside and has just kind of fallen apart. May and so they kind of, I guess the idea I was going for was like the tree grew up and came up around here and we could all also like add in some bits of log that actually extend up and in like this and you've got like little bits of wood and stuff still in here. And it's still a part of it. Like, we could do something like this as well. Uh, to where the tree is very much a part of it. Um, you could do something like that as well. I'm not sure. I don't particularly like that as much. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. So maybe the more like the stump area is the place that it was more uh, salvageable. I guess, like, could be used and is still a little bit alive and thriving. Um, and it's got little bits that they've had, like little portions of it that have sprouted up and trees and stuff have sprouted up. Um, so that's kind of the idea I've got. Ooh, little, little vine grew over there somewhere. I don't remember which one. So this is the idea that I kind of thought of. I would like your opinion. Because, <laughs> I mean, and obviously this is not like a 360 build. Uh, originally, I was thinking like this, to where, I mean, minus all this brush stuff, where it was literally just a 5x5 five five and came down and was like that. And we could still do that, and that's not, like, it doesn't look bad, it's just kind of boring. Uh, and so I wanted to try and spice it up a bit, and this definitely is spicy, that's for sure. So I'd like to your guys' opinion, like to know what you're thinking. Um... If you think it's a good idea, then sure, we'll go for it. I think we have all the materials and stuff. I hope. Um, and we'll definitely, we can go for this. And I, I think it'll look cool regardless. Uh, we may have to move it a little further out from the market. I don't know. Um, but I wanted it to, I guess the reason I went with something so crazy is I wanted something that was very unique to the area and wasn't just like, oh, it's a bell tower. So I wanted it to be unique in the sense that it, it fits the area. It may not kind of make sense, I guess, in real life. Like, why would you build a bell tower in a giant tree? I don't know. But, I mean, why would you build a house into the mountainside? Well, I guess there are houses like that in real life, so scratch that. Why would you bring the hillside up onto your house if you could easily just not? I don't know, man. Um, why would you build a freaking wheat field where slime spawn and hop and kill your wheat field? I don't know. Some of us are crazy. Um, but yeah, so 
I wanted to just show you this, give you an idea as to it, get your opinions, and then maybe next episode we'll build it and have it built in the town um, based on your opinions, what you think. So definitely leave a comment um, down below and uh, let me know your thoughts. would love to hear them and any ideas you may have about this sort of thingamajiggy. Uh, I think it'd be cool. I do think it would add a lot and make the market even better. Um, but yeah, that is definitely all the time I have currently, guys. Uh, I gotta get back to my stupid online class, because that's fun. Um, so, yeah. That's gonna do it for this episode, guys. If you like the video, and uh, sorry for this shorter format, but if you like the video, uh, leave a like in real life. If you uh, like the content uh, that I'm making, uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, join this little family we got going here. And uh, yeah, guys, that'll do it. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.